while on the moon during their Apollo 16 mission, astronauts Duke and Young spent some of their time driving around. Their first traverse took them about one kilometer west of the landing site. They made two stops to collect samples and conduct some experiments. As mission control watched on, Young used a portable instrument to measure the local magnetic field. He would later record the most intense magnetic field ever discovered on the moon, far higher than scientists ever suspected. The astronauts then inspected a huge crater site, while NASA's geologists at Mission Control directed them towards grab samples, the moon rocks they wanted to be brought back to Earth. As you come around there, there's a rock in the near field on this rim that has some white on the top of it. We'd like you to pick it up with the grab sample. This one right here? That's it. There would be one more stop before they got back to the lunar module. With astronaut Duke acting as action photographer and Young as driver, they put the lunar rover through a full test. Man, you are really fast, Is he on the ground at all? That's 10 kilometers. At 10 kilometers an hour, Young could hardly keep three wheels on the ground at any one time, but never had so much fun trying. He later compared the experience to skidding across loosely packed snow back home but it really has to go down as one of the most unusual test drives in human history. The following day, their third, Young and Duke headed north about five kilometers to North Ray Crater, the largest lunar crater to be explored and sampled by man. The ride in the rover was the most comfortable of the entire journey as the lunar surface was much smoother here than on the previous trip to South Ray. No speed restrictions here. Then on the trip back, they'd realized that the rear mudguard had come off the rover, kicking up a shower of lunar dirt at them. The next day, with the lunar surface temperature reaching 135 degrees in the sun, the astronauts traveled a little over four kilometers south to climb their rover up the steep side of Stone Mountain. Young parked the rover and moved out to join Duke. 